Folks, we're back on the Boss Man Show, FUI Report Special, second quarter show with Boss and Hollywood. Hollywood, we've come off a segment of J.R. Smith, Tristan Thompson, and Jaheim, and Teke- Evil, Tequila Evil of Michael Jordan Hour. Then we go to the email man. hour, booking by illiterate FUIs and but then booked it by a smart non FUI in PG Houston. We got two emails to read Hollywood. Before you read the emails, what is your thoughts on the show's first two hours so far? They were awesome, man. I had I had a blast. You know what I'm saying? I was talking about our good buddy J.R. Smith. He's an absolute constant on our show. Uh, he's <laughs> yeah, I don't believe I'm saying, it, but he's a small part of the reason why our show is a success is because he's consistently giving us material. Consistently. He's He's constantly making headlines on our show, and uh, yeah, I gave him props. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm not I'm not a hater. I'm gonna give props to where they're due. He's a funny guy. He does some weird stuff, and he makes our list. We- I mean, he used to make our list basically weekly. You know what I'm saying? Weekly. You know, and now that we have a quarterly show. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, he's gonna, he's gonna always be a part of our show because there's always gonna be something that he does to make the show. So, Mr. Smith, if you're listening, and I'm sure you are, he's still in the live stream. He's still in there, talking to the yeah. and thing. Thank you very much for making our show a success. You're the man. Yeah, all right. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Ah, what's up? <laughs> what's up? You understand, but uh, you know, just like I said, he he he's hilarious, and we have good old Tristan. He's uh, a shenanigan puller. But I mean, how many shenanigan pullers do we not have on the show? You understand? Like, look at the emails that we had. These were some. Uh, I mean, I, we've seen we've seen some emails. You know, over the years, that were really, it was almost as if they were sent like by a two year old. But <laughs> these ones right here, I mean, the, the, the ones that we did this time, they outdid last quarter's email. The only thing that saved, you know, that basically gave me any kind of solace, if I can say that, is the fact that. Uh, we had PG from Houston, and uh, who else do we have? Carmelo. Yes, Carmelo. You know what I'm saying? And that was pretty. I still I'm reading his right now. <clears throat> that was pretty amazing that we actually had two that went against the grain and made our jobs just a little bit easier. So to uh, to Carmelo and. Uh, PG from Houston. Big shout out to Houston. You you guys can email uh, the boss man show whenever you feel like it. I, I don't even know if I've ever said that before. I don't think you have. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it was it, so it, it was that crucial. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got to those emails. I mean, it was like a breath of fresh air, Chief. Very like much so, and they got your name right, but Carmelo called me Derek, but PG got my name correct, which is I'm happy about. Yeah, and, and that's rare. It's pretty rare that they even get my name right, so don't feel bad. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, PG from Houston, man, big up, you know, because the rest of those emails were absolutely painful, and and and. I actually have a couple of more on these. They're these painful. right here. So I can read. They're painful. <laughs> yeah, man. Like they were, they were painful to read. Like I was squinting at my screen. Like, dude, am I, am I reading the right thing? Like, this is what the hell is going on, man? But you know, just like I said, just like I told you, like that. It, that's tradition. You know, we have a forum where we actually allowed our listeners to have fun along with us. You know what I'm saying? And not that 
not that it's a really good thing, but it is a thing nonetheless that they show their FUI side. You know, and it's become a tradition where they send us send us these goofy emails of stuff that really might may or may not be going on in their life. You know, but they send these emails so I can basically make a fool out of myself reading them. And and and, and then I try to decipher whatever it is they're saying and give them an, an honest answer that makes sense or may not make sense. Whatever. You know. So, in essence, you know, it's been an absolute dynamite boss man show just like we've had over the years man and i'm just happy to be a part of this for over the last 10 years you know what i'm saying it's always fun we're always live and and you all stay tuned because we've got some things i got some things that that i have planned and i'm gonna bring them to boss man's attention we have uh every intention on making this show that much better for our listeners' enjoyment, because the thing is, is it's all about you all. And if it weren't for our listeners, you know, we wouldn't have anything. So, big up to our listeners. Big up to Block Talk Radio. Uh, our sponsors, wherever. You know what I'm saying? Big up to all you all, and thanks for making our show a success. Exactly. We started from nothing. Now we something. Now we're something. That's right. And I remember back then, we had a lot more people at the round table. You know, we was kicking it off with the Reverend Dirt shirt and all that stuff. It was fun, you know. But, you know, after uh, after a while, not everybody stays on the same page. I mean, that's just business. And the last two are standing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just proud to be here. Get there, right? You know, so. All right. Now. We're about to go from the sublime to the ridiculous. We got and, two uh, left over. We 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 don't cover them right now. We got two emails that are terrible at best. That's an understatement. But uh, <laughs> okay, here we go. Leo and above Edward. <laughs> oh God! That fool said above <laughs> Edward. <laughs> Trick robbed me. Trick robbed me. Did he really write that? <laughs> trick rob me, trick rob me. Okay. Bramod, I beat two or three math. What? <laughs> Act. <laughs> this is crazy. Bramod, I beat two or three math. Acted me to pay her cricket bill. <laughs> cricket? What? Bill was $134.36. I pay bill and the Brahmod changed her number. Damn. Nevada again. No more nice. Andre. Well, damn, Andre. You just brought me back down, man. He paid up all our phone bills and checked the number on his ass. That's messed up. Yep, you're a trick and you deserved everything you got. That's what you get. First of all, I'm not paying no bill for a woman that's not my woman. It's because I'm beating her, I don't mean I'm paying her the bills. No, you understand? See, period, point blank. I see, mean, some like. Some women think because you knocking them off, you owe them bill money or, like, as a trade or a barter, I'm giving you this, you won't pay this. And if you don't pay, they don't withhold from you. That's not how the deal works. Unless I'm your man, or we're dating exclusively, we've made that conversation, had a conversation, I don't not obligate to pay your bills for you. And why am I going to pay your phone if you can't know you talk to your other dudes? Right. So, And furthermore, pretty much. And the thing is, is furthermore, if it's got to be all that, I might as well... You might as well have gotten a hooker. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing is, is... I mean, you're going to still come out... You're going to still come up out of some money, right? Right. You're not going to hear all that yang-yang, like, you know... You know... I, I need a bill that needs to be paid. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're going to be a... If you're going to trick... 
trick with no headache. You know what I'm saying? Don't have somebody sit up there trying to run the game on you like, yeah, I gave you, I gave you these boots, now you're going to pay some bills. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather have a hooker. I'd rather go to the bunny ranch, pay my way up in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to, sure enough, I'm going to pay a fee. You know what I'm saying? And whatever bills that pays for, I don't know about it. You understand? I know what I'm getting into. You understand? But then there are are times when a cat could be knocking a chick off and they already have an ulterior motive and they don't tell you until like a couple of times afterward. You know what I'm saying? You're just like caught by surprise. Like, like, where's this coming from? You know what I'm saying? We ain't had no... I will decline saying that I don't loan friends money or I'm not going to give nobody money that's not my main woman. Right, but that's the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? You, it's, it's friends. Like, there has been no establishment of a relationship or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Off don't mean that I, oh, I'm, not, I'm not obligated. I think that's the misnomer, Hollywood. Some men and a lot of women think because they knocking somebody off, they're obligated or connected. No. Just for the time that's not how that works y'all. out. Just for the present time y'all together, y'all are. But once you part ways, it's back to whatever you were doing. Right. Because unless you're a fishing relationship, you're single, okay? Yep, you're talking period. to somebody or whatever you're dating, until it's official and exclusive, you're still single and can go out and do what they want to do. So until you're, that's because somebody's giving you attention does not mean you're the only one. Exactly. So, period. I ask women this question, Hollywood. <clears throat> if I wasn't in your life, but what, what would you do? Ask the next sucker for some money. Exactly. And they're like, well, a real man would not want to have to ask. Uh, women always do. Well, a real man ain't going to jump in unless I have to jump in. And if I ain't your main man, I'm not jumping in. And pretty, and, 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 and also, who says that you ain't doing that to somebody else? Mm-hmm. While you're with me. Or while we're knocking off or whatever we're doing. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no exchange of funds, you know. I, I mean, I've had some one-night stands in my lifetime, and there was no exchange of funds. Sometimes there wasn't even an exchange of a number. You know what I'm saying? We kicked it. I was out of town. We kicked it. You know what I'm saying? We had a good time. You know, things got hot and heavy. We ate breakfast in the morning. See ya. You know what I'm saying? That's not far-fetched. But that does not equate to I pay your bills. He said you know what I'm saying? Three times they've they've had sex. That's not enough to be be paying your phone bill because that, I don't tell you what, I'm leery of rent and phone bills because I feel like I'm I'll be paying for you to talk to your next dude or the next dude to come over and not smash you. Too. I'm not paying that. I'm right. not paying his hotel fee. I'm good. That's what I'm saying exactly. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know who else you're pulling this off with. This could be your husband. But to, he paid the bill and the number got to him immediately. Oh, my God. Well. He a he trick. Still, That's a legal and, and trick, though. He got suckered. You know what I'm saying? And then now he's now he's all up in the field and talking about I, I paid the bill and the Brahma changed her number. Well, you know, what you expect? Their phone stay off. She got what she wanted. That was a wrap. Now she's on to the next fool. You know what I'm saying? Pay my bill. Pay my telephone bill. <laughs> Pay my <Exactly>. automobile. <laughs> exactly. Could you and me off the Trifling it won't pay my cricket. I'ma kick your ass if you don't <laughs> pay my cricket. If you don't get my wig and my hair and my lashes, I'm gonna kick your ass out. <laughs> and you'll get kicked out, Andre. Unbelievable. You, got, you paid the bill. Ashley got kicked out, Andre. That's even worse. He paid the fee and still got kicked to the curb. Right. And judging by the way you spell, I can I can almost understand why she pulled it off. <laughs> exactly. Talking about some Nevada again. <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly. No more nights. That's a 
that no more nice is the first thing that made sense. <laughs> exactly. And the trick robbed me, trick the trick robbed me made sense now. And damn Yeah, sense. that did too. That was trick robbed. That middle that, that middle paragraph is what's the, the worst. I mean, just behind whooped. <laughs> anyway. Well, Andre, sorry that you got played, man, but uh, learn a lesson. You said no more nice. We'll see. All right. Dude, man, what's up with this? They getting you, man, they getting you messed up. Oh, God. Stefan in Hollywood. Who the hell is Stefan? Like, I'm Stefan Marbury or somebody, like, for real? Stefan or Kel. <laughs> Damn. Now, check this out. Stefan in Hollywood, right? I'm dissented right now. I, I tired. Okay, I tired to recognize an old fiend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we was supper to ring up with each other, food and drink, wine. She didn't call me for the day off the meeting. What? Why the chick didn't call me? We sip, we sip right up, ring up. I thought she wanted me up. What? <laughs> me too. Woo. <clears throat> Dwight in New Garrisetti. Oh God! You been telling me he butchered his old state? This is the craziest thing. <laughs> I'm descended right now. <clears throat> I tired to recognize an old fiend. Okay, he got sleepy when he couldn't recognize an old crack smoker. Oh, God. Yeah. But in all actuality, he's saying I, I tried to recognize an old friend. We were supposed to, I guess, hook up with each other and drink wine. Eat it. And eat food and drink wine. I hope that's what he's saying. Me too. I'm careful. Right. She didn't call me for the day off the meeting. Whatever. She didn't call him the day of the meeting. Okay. Okay. Why the chick didn't call me? Well, I can almost guarantee it's because you're illiterate. <laughs> because if you were... Dude, if you texted her with this madness that you're texting us, <laughs> I guarantee. All right. We sipped right up, ring up. See? Came I the told. Code what? Came in the cold, that one. Yeah. Uh, I told she wanted me up. What? Maybe he thought, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. I thought she wanna meet up. She wanna meet up. Okay. I thought she wanna meet up. Me too. That's random. Me too. What does that mean? Me too movement. Woo! Don't you try to say you're happy about that? Me too. Woo! Like what is it? Right. But you just throw it in the game. Just... Like I thought she wanna meet up. Me too. Okay. He got spilled a uh, steak, though. So I guess in a nutshell, he's saying that he he wanted to. He's disappointed when he tried to hook up with his old friend. They were supposed to eat and drink. She didn't call him the day of the meeting, and he's asking us why did the chick call him. I answered that question. Then he goes into we sipped right up ring up and that totally lost me like he's going back and forth he's having a Rick James moment <laughs> the white I don't know what's happening right now the white's confused and conflicted dude I thought she wanted to meet up maybe he's saying I thought like me too I thought she wanted to meet up but what's the woo for Right, there's nothing to woo about. That's nothing. To woo. That's no, nothing good happened here, Dwight. That's what I'm saying. That there's nothing to woo about here. Like number one, you're not Ric Flair or anybody, because Ric Flair would have scored. Number two, 
you're acting like you're celebrating your own disappointment because she didn't call you, and that within itself is the equivalent on uh, is the equivalent of sitting on the television and watching the couch. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what are you doing, Dwight? Like, my man, like, my my, I'm gonna go back to a word from last segment. Deductive reasoning. Either she got cold feet, she thinks she's stupid, thought it'd be an embarrassing and waste of her time, or you was only calling her because she saw you kick her. Oh my God, the wife's still stupid. Let me pull out. Yeah. Or it could be a combination of all, of all those factors rolled up into one. Because I know one thing this guy couldn't even spell where he lived at. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell this is. Like, New Garrett where is that? <laughs> they gave me New Jersey, but he butchered it so. I bad. thought, like I, I even read it wrong at first. Like I said, Serengeti. <laughs> he made you dyslexic for a second there. Like, hey man, hey. But how well, do you think about this? I have to go through four eight hundred emails to get even these twelve to you. That's ridiculous. Four to eight hundred to get these twelve, dude. So I know you got a headache. I your bro is my best friend. Every eight, take two every eight hours. Oh my god! Well, I've been reading emails since Sunday. Oh wow, that's a headache. Just think, what doesn't make make it to air? That's all. That's what I'm saying. Like these. These right here, <laughs> if, you know, these right here are like the pigs of the litter, and they're bad. So you can almost imagine, like, what kind of gibberish was in the other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, in the other emails, like, they must have been, like, listening to somebody, I don't know. So it seems like they have, like, 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 who, who, like, and they send them all out of the night, though. Why are you sending me emails this time of night? Why are you watching my iPad buzzing this time of night? I don't know, man. I mean, maybe they uh, maybe they just need some answers. Maybe they're bored. Maybe they're hot. You know what I'm saying? Cocaine is hell of a drug. Maybe they, uh, I mean, you name it. Yes. And the ones I delete are like, they burn my eyes. And this I, is what's I've burning my eyes. Where I try not to read them more than once. Right. Just trying yeah, to read them. You know, try to run through it and uh, uh, throw the throw it in the can and throw the whole damn can away. You know. You know I mean, this guy said, "Guy sends you both emails on the same email. Like, why you send me? You know how in in in, in Gmail, like the, the, the boss man show emails from Gmail email." So it t- seems like you said this before. Yeah. So that's in the same email every day. Hey, dude, stop. Please. Please. Please, please. We get, I, once you send it, we get it. Now, if I don't choose to pick it, that's on me. But once right. you send it, we get it. Dude. I'm tired to recognize an old fiend. That just killed that man. That killed me right there. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> and I don't know what's up with these guys trying to. I mean, it's like they playing themselves for suckers, man. I, but just like I said, I mean, maybe if if he has a number and, and you know they've commun they they've obviously communicated, but if he texts her. It was over before it began. I'm trying to tell you. I mean, she was. I mean, she wasn't gonna meet up with you for nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't mm-hmm. know, bro. And I don't Hollywood, know. this is another thing I have too. This is one of my things. I, I don't see we on 37 Hot Box Hollywood. So I'm gonna put out there. If you say you're gonna call or text me back, I'll allow you to call or text me back. I'm not gonna right. bug you. You of course. the balls are now in your court. If you say out of your words, I'm going to call, text you back, I'm going to let you do it. And furthermore... I had one I mean, friend like, ask me before, 
Yeah. Uh, why I heard from you? Well, last time we spoke, you said you called me back. I only wanted you to call me back. Right. For a whole year? Yeah. Pretty right, much. because I... Exactly, because the next move is on you. If you say you're going to call me or text me, I'm going to take it for what it is. Now, if I got to wait two weeks, I already know what time it is. And, and furthermore, it's not even going to take that long. You understand what so, I'm saying? I'm not about to play your game with you, you know? Period. And Period. I want to address this to Hollywood while we in this open forum here. That's what's up. We both are in business, okay? What I hate is people who don't confirm meetings with you. Right. I feel like you should confirm a meeting within 48 hours of the meeting at least. Or at very least the day before by 6 p.m. Or it's going to get canceled. And it happened to somebody recently who wanted to meet with me. I'm like, I'm a busy man. I travel. I'm not, if you don't confirm you're going to meet with me, I'm not about to uh, be. I'm gonna take out my schedule. Right. And if you call me day of and I pull out, it's not something I could use in an emergency. You, you might not get another, get another meeting. But that's just my, my my policy. And this individual told me I was unfair. I'm being a dictator. You know, I'm 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 being a dictator. I'm being, I'm being the manager of my time. Oh yeah. That has nothing to do with being a dictator. It's my time. And, and, and time doesn't wait for anybody. You know, so I'm going to be getting on with my life. You don't call me, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just going to be sitting on the phone looking like Eddie Murphy in that scene from Boomerang where he's sitting on that phone waiting for Jacqueline to call him. Watching the, watching the clock just tick tock, you know what I'm saying? And time is passing. That's not going to happen, man. That'll drive a dude crazy. No, I'm, especially when it's about business that you want me to help you with. Well, of course, man. It's like I, I said, top, and when 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 money when when money is in the picture, you know, time's not waiting for anybody. You know what I'm saying? This is business, and, and even if it's not business, I'm not going to sit up there and waste my time. You know what I'm saying? If you said you're going to call or text me, and, you know, and we're supposed to be doing something. You understand? Then I'm. Then the just like you said, the ball is in your court. I have a hard line rule. If I don't hear from a, somebody to meet with me by six p.m. the prior day. I'm canceling me. Straight up. Straight up. To me, the closest business is six p.m. If I don't hear from you about the closest business on the previous day, screw you. I'm not about to waste my time. I'm opening up my up my, my calendar. Right. Right. And then I have this issue too, Ali. You have these people who don't who take forever to respond to simple texts. Like, we have our phones near us. And I have an iPhone. And I know when your phone is blue, you have your phone near you at home. Right. You don't respond to a text. About business now. That was a personal shit, but business. That's serious. And you don't respond or you ask me a question days later. Or answer or respond. I don't respect that. Now get your ass cut off so fast. Oh yeah. Just like I said, man. I mean, there there is a such thing as open lines of communication. You understand? And nobody is that busy to the point where they can't send some type of communication to let you know A, B, C, and D. Especially to where as business is concerned. If you can't make a meeting, communicate it. You understand? If you can't do something, communicate it. If you're busy, communicate it. So I can keep it moving. These new cats in business, man, they don't, they don't have the principles you and I have, man. Well, a lot of these... You, know, you, you try to help them, but they don't want... They, they, say they, don't want, they don't want to do it the right way. They want to do it their way. Right, because a, a, a lot of these fresh new cats, you know, they're they're pretty much they're selfish. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them really don't 
know how to conduct business the right way. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of, you know, a lot of times with your, when you're dealing with business, you know what I'm saying? A lot of that is communication. You know, as just like like with my uh, my partner, Big Minutes. Shout out to Big Minutes, really though. We in the house. You know, a lot of our business is communication. You know what I'm saying? And if I can't make an engagement, I communicate that to him so he's not waiting around on me. You know what I'm saying? Or if I can't do something, we communicate about it. You understand? So, I mean, that's the way. That's how you foster respect. Like, to me, a delayed text response when you know it's about business or a lack of confirmation for a meeting or you try to come change or you try to come, try to change your day up. To me, I'm already looking at you like, man, you're finished already. Right. And I mean, I, I understand. I understand that circumstances happen and things do happen. You know what I'm saying? But... You know, it shouldn't come a time where, you know, you let weeks, because that has happened where, you know, I'm working on business and, you know, I send out, I might send out a text to somebody, a partner, or, uh, a mass text to partners, and it had been weeks until they had gotten back with me, and that's unacceptable. You know what I'm saying? Because phones near them all the time. So that's why I'm black, when I don't get text by you for real. I know your phone's near you. You're making phone calls. You understand? To somebody. And, and especially when you have your own business, like having a phone is like, that's like your office. You know what I'm saying? That's where that's where all the deals or whatever, it, what, it, what have you is coming in. That's where you, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's pretty much how you make all your moves. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, get it together. Yeah, like, like you and I, we communicate with each other. Yeah, and that's and plus we have a respect beyond business. Right, right. That's nothing that helps as well. Absolutely. So, but I try to teach these young dudes about the radio game. But look, probably well, I'm like this. This point in my career, I'm not gonna waste my time helping out any new cats. You know, you want to pay it for it, you want to help them out, but nah, man, at this point. I don't think I'm gonna move, move or be honest. Worry about this brand. We're trying to help you. Somebody and stuff with their own. They don't, want, they don't want the help. They don't want to do it the right way. They want to do it on their own time and be just re- re- reckless with people's time and people's efforts. Man, I ain't got time. Pretty much. Pretty much. I agree. We gonna be all right. Oh yeah. You know that's just. I mean, like for. And I'm gonna put this out there for instance. You know, the show was supposed to happen yesterday. You understand? But I had a situation where I had to work over. Somebody was absent. I had to take over. And I had to work over. You was the first person that I texted. Of course, it should have been that way. Because that's how you conduct business. You know what I'm saying? And I couldn't make it back to my house before starting time. So I asked for, you know, I wanted to postpone it until today and as you can see this show went off without a hitch <clears throat> you know what I'm saying because I believe in professionalism you know what I'm saying and also I have to consider other people's business when it's not just me and that's what I think a lot of time in situations that's what that's what people are leaving out you know they're leaving out the consideration for other people's business you know what I'm saying? It's not, you're not the only person on earth and you don't, you're not the only person that conducts business in the world. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else has business to conduct on their time where they're at. So you have to be respectful and mindful of other people's moves when you're making moves with them. Exactly. You know, am I correct? You're right. And also, giving you some business tips out here, young, young up and coming radio personalities uh, you have to respect each other you know you, you reap what you sow yes you know setting a bad reputation for yourself can ruin you down the road 
like I have had to bust down doors since my career started. Oh, bust brother, I know. And be, and be presentable. And if you don't have your stuff in order, you're gonna lose out fast. They're gonna lose respect to you. Cause see, we have all these platforms here. Audio boom. You have TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, Spreaker, you know, uh, Radio Public, Deezer, CastBox. Right. Well, it's our radio. So, so all these different platforms, plus I have free station. If I had a shabby product presentation, you think we have all these platforms we have here? We wouldn't. So how you present yourself is everything. And that's where we prefer professionally, socially, on the web, and just in general. It all counts. That's right. You never know who, you never know who can be a consumer, or be a sponsor, or be an end user of your show's product. And right, because... Instead of the racing, you'll, 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 you'll screw yourself royally going forward. True. Because like like uh, our GM says, he says perception is everything. You know what I'm saying? Perception is everything. You know, it might uh, uh, and your your how should I say your it's almost like your repre- your your reputation will precede you. So if you're poor, if you're a poor communicator, you know what I'm saying. People will talk about that first before anything else. You know what I'm saying. And what I perceive about you is what's going to be until you change my mind. You know what I'm saying? So if you have a habit of not communicating or not being good in business communication, that's going to come to mind first before I do anything else or before I make a decision. I'm going to be thinking about that. You know what I'm saying? And nine times out of ten, that's what's going to be determining the determining factor uh, of if we do business at all. You know, exactly. so if you're out there and, and, and you're you're doing business with anybody, make sure you're doing it right. You know, you'll save yourself a lot of trouble, a lot of time and quite possibly a lot of money. Words of wisdom. Exactly. Words and, of wisdom. And if you want to be successful, you just got to do it the right way. If you want to be successful in any business, you know, where you where 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 you're capable of turning a good profit or turning uh, nothing into something, you might want to try doing business the right way. You know what I'm saying? So I'm telling you, especially out here, all business ain't good business. You know, yeah, they're right. And I'm trying to tell you, we know. You know what I'm saying? Trust hey. and believe. And hey. you got to know how to make hard decisions on people. Like, I, Hollywood knows this. I've lost friends for decisions I made about the show. Which is yeah. fine. They didn't agree with what decision I made, but I, I, we all got started together. That's a little hit we got. But eventually you grow. You have to make changes. That's right. And, and not everybody's going to agree with the changes that you make. Exactly. You know, while I hate the people who help the show give a foundation to it, no longer a part of the show, but it's eventually, it's eventually a part of growth. And, you know, I didn't think that it would be that much of an issue. So I thought we had other friends than that, but I saw that person feels gets, gets involved and you feel like you're being left, left out in the cold. Right, right, right. Part of something at the beginning. And I understand that sentiment. And I don't mean to be that way, but to take the steps I've taken, them, I had to leave people behind. And it's not because I dislike them or whatever. It's just that they was not good to take to the next phase of the show. That's right. And I hate that that message <laughs> wasn't conveyed, or they didn't seep in for whatever reason it didn't. Uh-huh. A lot of those people resent me still, which. I, I, I don't it's not the answer I don't care but it's like I can't stop feeling that way you know that's right and it and, and it, it, it it doesn't hinder your moving forward because if that was the case 
you know, you wouldn't be where you are right now with this show. You know, so I, I believe that happens with all uh, with with all business owners and people that are really running their own thing. You know, you have people who you might have started out with. You know, they might have gone a different path. Or you just you might be on two different wavelengths. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, you know, it's commonplace that that happens and you have to keep moving. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who you start out with is not destined to go where you're going. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But in essence, still, you have to keep it moving. You have to keep moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody's meant to go where you're going. And that's something that I stress. You know what I'm saying? I, I and I'm, I've gotten to the point where I'm comfortable with that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't sit there and stress about, uh, I don't stress about people who I've had to part ways with, where business is concerned. You know what I'm saying? Because it, a, a lot of times, you know, you will find that it was better that you had done that anyway. Because they might not have been working in your best in interest in the first place, where it might have been lucrative starting out, but it became a detriment going on. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you're responsible for you, really, and you only. You know, and you can't, you cannot let bad decisions, you know, concerning business affect the business that you're trying to do. You just can't. You know what I'm saying? No matter who it's with. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to live with yourself. You gotta yourself, you gotta live with the decisions that you make. So try to make the best decisions that you can. You know what I'm saying? in my favor and I hope to keep betting a thousand about show, show decisions so I hope to keep doing that <laughs> going forward yep. and uh, <laughs> folks the next show is going to be uh, for sure third quarter show's Hollywood's birthday special just sell oh. so look out for that and it's going to be bombastic I promise you and I'm pretty sure we'll have FUI King on that show too oh, and then bro. quarter four is the holiday special so that's two shows. We may have, may have a special show or interview or two before that. Just stay tuned for us. We'll let you out know. But I want to thank you all because Hollywood, we we had tonight a hundred eighteen thousand thousand people in our live stream tonight, and we're, it's only getting bigger. So I'm on Hollywood. Oh man, he, since day one, he's been on my ride or die here on the Boss Man Show. And already, we got the fans because without you all, fans. Where would we be here on the Boss Man Show? So thank you all for that. Hollywood ain't last off before we go, brother. Oh, man. I, just like I said, man, I'm just, you know, I'm happy to be here. You know, it's been a been a, over a decade we've been doing this. You know what I'm saying? Never a regret. We've had some changes, but those changes have, have been in our favor pretty much. You know what I'm saying? It, it didn't stop anything. You know what I'm saying? We still have tons of listeners coming in. They want to check us out, and I'm just... Uh, thankful uh, to you, boss man. You know, for putting me on. You know what I'm saying, and, and, and making me a part of the thing that you're doing. You know, thank you, and thank all the fans out there. Man, look, you know, you all send us the goofiest emails of all time, but I'm trying to tell you, if it weren't for you all tuning in and sending the emails and making us laugh, and a lot of times after I get off the phone, you make me cry. But if it wasn't for you all, you know, just like I said, you know, this thing wouldn't be nearly as special as what it is. And it's because of our listeners, you know, that we have a forum and we have a platform to talk about crazy things and do crazy things. And, you know, we have fun. So thank you. Yes, indeed. We're supposed to be the last one from Hollywood, folks. Boss. Hollywood third quarter special is over. Catch y'all for sure in September. We may see all that before that. We'll never know. Take these people. We are out.
out. And if you don't know, now you know, you know.